Hey guys, Rex here. Brace yourselves, guys, this weekend for some potential interesting situations to unfold. Now, this stuff does not affect me, but depending on where you live, it could affect you. <laughs> it could, if it's true. Now, I don't know if this deal is true. We shall see, time will tell. I don't know if this video expires and it didn't happen. I'm telling you right now in the beginning of the video, I do not know if this is true. Word around the campfire though is, word around the campfire, the Donald is planning to announce his second run for presidency on July 4th, this weekend. Have you guys ever thought about like how the situation is so primed for the ultimate social cataclysm that finally burns this thing to the ground and gets it to crash straight into the side of the mountain so they can rebuild it. There are a lot of very powerful and very rich people, very well connected, who are completely encumbered by the United States being there and still being kind of controlled by laws, the Constitution, right? As you can see, the SCOTUS is still kind of like, hey man, there is the Constitution. Our job is to make sure you guys remember that. As supreme as they're not, <laughs> um, there's, there, there's still an obstacle. The United States is the obstacle. It needs to be removed for them to do the rest of what they're trying to do. It has served its purpose in their eyes. We have been the strong arm of Egypt or Rome or Babylon or whatever you want to call it for a long time. We've been the strong arm. We've been the military might uh, executing the decisions made in a supranational level. Now it needs to be dissolved into the seas of the rest of the world, like a flood, like this thing needs to melt and just meld into the rest of the world. That's why they just, that's why there's no border guys. I don't know if you know the real reason because eventually there's going to be no borders anywhere. That's the plan, right? Um, and the social cataclysm, they are fomenting will be so terrible according to their plans. I'm not gonna talk about that here on YouTube. I'm gonna do separate video just on that on Patreon after I do this one. Um, but according to their plans that they have written down a long time ago, like a hundred plus years ago, predicted exactly, it didn't predict it, it planned it. It outlined how the social cataclysm will be fomented. And we're in the middle of it. We are right there to where the fire starts burning hot. And if the Donald, which for some weird reason, man, and I don't, I, mean, I can kind of see what it is. I've been around a lot of lefties enough to kind of understand the operating system. They're highly emotional. Um, they're idealistic. They're sucked into a weird paradigm. Um, you know, everyone stands on ground, which they think is the moral high ground. That's just how people are. Now, are they mistaken? Yeah, usually most people are, right? But there's something about that guy that drives people on the left absolutely fruitcake bonkers. I mean, cuckoo for cuckoo puffs, just insane. Intelligent people, well, mildly intelligent people that are professionals, that like act all serious, just come unglued when you even mention anything about that guy. What's up with that? And I can talk more about this on the Patreon deal. I think that he, his job the whole time has been to be the catalyst for the final social cataclysm. I think that, that whether or not they'll accomplish that with him, he is definitely acting as a catalyst. Now, when you're doing chemistry, you crank up the temperature, like I said before, right? You got the Bunsen burner, it heats up the solution, it gets real hot, it loosens up the chemical bonds, and then you add catalysts once you have the two different other components that you want to have a solution like mixed together and create a reaction, right? You wanna turn this and, and this stuff into something else, right? So you create thesis, antithesis, you know, standard Hegelian dialectic process. It's very, I mean, everyone knows about it now. It was kind of like esoteric a few years ago, but I'm telling you, just looking at the timing, right? You got the, the rights patients being completely used up in the last three years of the nanny state where they're told, oh, now mama says it's time to lock down, treating us like a convicted felon because, oh, 
we gave you a disease. That means you're bad and you have to listen to us now. No, they using up all the patience of, I mean, I know because I'm in that category of dudes that are like, mm, no, not playing that game. Mm -mm. No, sir. I mean, you can try to enforce it, ain't gonna work. It's only gonna be a swinging competition at a certain point, right? And they knew that, right? And simultaneously, they, they take down, you can't turn off the world for three years without a consequence. We screwed up the resources so bad that now we're on the brink of World War III with Russia. Oh, Rex, you're being hyperbolic. Yeah, okay. You want to see hyperbolic? How about parabolic? Hmm? The parabolic, it's actually an inverted, you know, if you're used to standard external ballistics from a rifle shot, the parabola is reversed on a ballistic missile. It's ballistic. But it starts off with a real, you know, slow deal. And at the end, the uh, descending leg is extremely straight. I just go on Mach 17 or Mach 21, depending on its orbit, you know, to take you out, man. Like, people have no idea. <laughs> the hubris. The hubris of this country, man, just throwing our weight around in the bar, half drunk. Mm. Is it irresponsible to get in a fight with Putin in the bar when your family's at home counting on you to come home in one piece? Now, I know we don't like that dirty Putin, you know. That's why, like, when I filled up my uh, uh, gasoline this morning, it was $97. I was like, take that, Putin. That'll learn you, you dirty Russian guy, you. That, I mean, that'll totally show Putin. Just like, everyone's at the gas tank just, like, spending, like, 10 times more than normal. Like, ah, take that, take that, Putin, dirty Putin. Biden said we're, that's how we give it to him, you know. <laughs> That's funny. It's actually funny. But, you know, with Kaliningrad and all this stuff that, I mean... Oh, that's not going to happen. Nothing will happen. Don't, don't you realize that that's what everyone thought before each world war happened? Hmm? Hubris. Look up, look up that word. Read the story Oedipus Rex. Nothing to do with this Rex. Mm -mm. His situation was quite awkward. But um, his hubris is what got him in trouble. They, he never thought that he could be wrong because he's the ultimate Turbo King guy. Like, how could he be wrong? And he was so wrong that he ended up gouging out his own eyeballs because he couldn't handle it. That's going to be us. What do you think, guys? What do you think is going to happen? I'll tell you more about the, the planned, like the, the mechanics of the social cataclysm on Patreon. We talk a lot about that stuff. The Bruce Gower we did last night, I didn't upload it yet. We got into some pretty funny stuff on that topic too. We just sit in the garage and drink the Brewskis and talk about that stuff completely unfiltered. I don't know if I can even put that on Patreon. I might have to go through some side channel because there are certain things that will trigger it from, from you know, it'll turn it off. <laughs> there are certain subjects. And, talk, like, and the other thing, the, the, the patients, you know, people wondering why are they doing this to the kids at the schools with this story time shit with these freaking twisted, perverted people? Yeah, I know it's a sacrament to them and they love that shit, but here's the deal. They're rubbing it in, the, in your face for a reason. They're trying to get you to respond in the way they want you to, which is to absolutely, and this is part, like it's the part of the social cataclysm. Our side would get so fed up with theirs and they would be so, I mean, like uh, the amount of physical exhaustion that would be strained on the system from them just like burning things all the time. They're creating two extremely opposed sides. And each side is going to absolutely have venom dripping out of their mouth, ready to roll on the other one. And then everyone will lose their moral compass. They'll have no direction. They'll, I'm in like whatever veneer of civilization, when the event, there's going to be whatever catalyst it is, maybe it's some. Um, and I mean, there's a lot of different ways this could unfold, but with the situation with us stump, like throwing the weight around in Putin's bar over there, 
man, if they could turn off our power all of a sudden and there was like no laws for like a month or a year, could you imagine what would happen in the first year? Especially in as uh, the, the catalyst keeps continuing to be titrated in on our side. You know, it's written in, it's written in the Bible too, guys, that um, Yeshua, Jesus said, it'll be the worst time since the flood. Like everyone will turn their sword on each other. It's gonna be terrible. Yeah. I mean, it's getting primed for that. I don't like it, but that's what, uh, I mean, I see the alignment. I see the trace going out. I see what direction is coming back down. I'm like, oh man, eesh. here we could go, right? And whatever happens this 4th of July, whether he runs or doesn't run, it's really just a detail in a greater picture. But I'm seeing all these different things, the ridiculous things being just paraded in front of us, literally, literally paraded in front of us, are there for a reason. It is intentionally done to shock you and to get you to try to fight. And that's the rest of the story. So I'm going to talk more about this on Patreon. We'll talk about the mechanisms of exactly what the plan is, and then I can flesh it out and in, in where, where I think we sit geopolitically and all that stuff. And again, this stuff does not personally affect me. I'm insulated enough from the consequences of whatever that'll be um, to where like, I mean, what's going to, I mean, so I would recommend that you do whatever you can to get as insulated as you can, whether that be where you are or um, how much you depend on the system being together or getting away from stupid people. If you live next to a huge amount of stupid people, probably should move. Time to move, probably. You know, he told us to do that, too. He says, when you see... When you see this stuff come to pass, when you see his people encompassed on all sides by the enemy, time to get the hell out of town. Don't grab your coat and just go. And there's literal interpretations to that as well as all different levels of typological interpretations too. So that could be one of them. But we'll talk more about that on Patreon. All right, guys, we'll catch you over there. Adios.